We're really pleased with the progress Molly's made with her writing since using Story Starter. She's developed her writing skills, she's made better than expected progress over the year. Initially she was very reluctant to write, she found it very difficult and it's just amazing to see her such a confident writer now and how her enthusiasm for learning spread right across the curriculum, giving her an all-round confidence boost. For me it's been you know, watching that video which is very moving and listening to Molly reading her story and we don't often hear her read her own stories and really the sort of the expression, the passion that she put into that, a real sense that she was, she was in the story, she was part of the story, the story came from her and, and I guess the opportunity to be able to do that and you know all of that feeds through to the pride, the self-confidence that any child needs to do well at school. time ago, Martha lived on a farm with her mother and father. When they died, Martha had to look after the farm all by herself. One day, she received a letter from her neighbours, Gabriella and Charles. It said, we would like to take over the farm and you may live in our mansion with all our food, fizzy drinks, beds and all our TVs. Martha was delighted. She had always wanted to live in a mansion, but that night she had a dream that said, do not listen to Gabriella and Charles. Keep the sheep and the fields or your life will end. That morning, Martha knocked on her neighbor's door to sort it out. There was no answer. Looking for someone, came a voice behind her. Who are you? asked Martha. I am your mother, the voice in your dream. Wow, cried Martha, can you help me? Of course, the angel replied softly. Martha ran back to the farm and the angel appeared to Gabriella and Charles. The light was so bright that she scared them out of their skins. Ah, they screamed and ran like mad chickens all the way to Australia. Martha and her angel mother lived happily ever after.